Welcome everyone to Dancing with Data. This is Ritesh, super user at Power BI community and the first in the world to hold Tableau Ambassador and Power BI super user title. Plan is simple for today. We'll continue working on PL300 questions and explanation. Complete hands-on experience for you. So today's question is based on DAX, data analysis expression. Okay, so let's come over to the question. Before I move on, do subscribe to my channel if you are coming here for the first time. If you find my videos valuable, do like and share as well if these are making sense to you. Kyunki jo soya, wo khoya. Before I talk more about the question, it's based on time intelligence function. In your PEL 300 training path, it has already got a special mention over there. So remember, do expect questions from time intelligence. So here is the question for you. Which of the following options can fetch last month sales? As shown in the figure, there are two ways to achieve last month sales. So this is the fig this is the figure that you can see. So that shows that there are two two different formulas that would fetch you the last month sale. If you see this is the last month, right? This is eleventh. So this is giving you the tenth, and so forth and so on. So what are the two formulas that would fetch you? And these are the four different DAX expressions over there. So do expect such question. The good thing is that they will tell you that there are two options over there. Right, so you don't have to worry about because if it was like multiple choice, then it will be a little more difficult for you. But anyhow, so mainly we can see there are date at function, date at function, same period last year, parallel period. So let us see one by one and solve this question. Let's start with the date at function here and see if we get the answer or not. Before I move further, uh, let me remind you that to have a calendar table, and I'll go to the detail model so that I can quickly show you the calendar table. So this is the calendar table. That will really help you to uh, fetch the result in the continuous form. I will ensure that there is a link about calendar table at my description, so do watch that as well. Coming back to the question here, we need a, another field over there, a column, where I can get the last month sales. So if I am there, I should be able to get 378212. So let's go to the new measure. So let's give it a name prior sales one because we have two calculations. We still say calculate total sales we are calculating and after that we are talking about a date ads which will act like a filter over here so date is date as i said the calendar day so we'll go with the calendar date here itself and after that number of inter interval is minus one we want to go one month back so that is the calculation for you so here we go so we can see this is working fine if you see three seven eight two one two two six five so forth and so on. So one option, this date add is working and let me expand it. So that is the syntax for the same. I mean, it's simple at date add, you'll add uh, minus one and month. So this would be a calendar date adding minus one to the month. So one option is the first one over there. Okay. What about the second one? Well, this is the second one that is called as parallel period. It looks quite similar to date add but it, it can be different as well that, that i'll show you that will be in the second question so dax parallel period function returns a table that contain a column of date that represent a period parallel to the dates in the specified date column so if i am in 2011 that is the current year sales it shows me the sales for the next year so you can have date add plus one as well remember that so that's the case of date add plus one but we are in the case date add minus one as far as syntax is concerned, it's simple parallel period. And in any ways, we will do that um, hands on example. Parallel period dates, number of interval, and then interval. So let's do it. So let's do it. Calculation, calculate, same thing, total sales. And after that, in this case, we are saying parallel period. So automatically, you'll see the syntax over there. Again, we'll have to put calendar date over there. That means the top one. And after that, it asks you for the number of interval. That remains minus one. And after that, interval will be of type month in this case. So we are good. Well, so with this formula also, we are getting the exact answer. So we are good. So if you see 378212, 267561, so we are good. So the answer for this would be A and C. Same period last year will not work for this one because when it says itself that same period last year. So I have that calculation as well. So that I can show you this aspect as well. So as you can see, as the name suggests, it takes you the same period last year. That means it will take you, sorry, the same period last year, the, as the name suggests, same period last year. That means same period. That means 2013-11, go down, go down, 2012-11. 
So this gives you that value to 520100. That's what you see over there. But we wanted last month itself. So same period last year is not going to help you. And interestingly, uh, you will see that this date at calendar minus one year will give you the same value as same period last year. Because this will also go to the last year, same period will give you the same value. Sometimes your question can, can be other way around. So be cautious about the same. I leave the last calculation for you to do it yourself. Well, the more interesting part is there in front of you now. Will the values remain same if you remove the month from the view and analyze for last year sales only? Note that 2013 is the only year with no sales for the month of December. So as you can see over there, there is no December for the year 2013, unlike the other years. Right. So that's that's the one thing that you should notice. We have been asked to analyze at year level. So I have changed my month to year for both the DEX expression over there because we want to analyze with respect to the last year, not month. And the first part says that we need to remove the month from the view. OK, let's do it. And, and after that, the question is whether you see the same values for both the DEX expression or not. So you have to reply in true and false. Let's first go and try to remove month. Here you go. No, it's not same. So no, it is not same. If you see at the top, this one is different. The rest of the rows are same, but not the top one. Why is it so? In order to understand this, let us put month back for a while. And as mentioned in the question as well, you can notice that for the year 2013, it will go up to 11, not 12. The other thing that you will notice that while prior date solution two, which is nothing but parallel period, it will exactly give you the you know overall sales for the last year, but for prior sales one, which is nothing but date at minus one. If you are at 2011, that means it will go back and will say 2011, 12, 11, and it gives you that value 520100. That's what you can see over there. Or in other words, that means that if you are if you don't have month number 12, so it will not go to the month number 12 for the last year. You know that's what is missing. So actually, this number is the difference over there. If you add this number over there, it'll get both the answers as same. Let's do that experiment. So I've noted down this number with calculator so that it'll be easy for me to add. Now I go back and remove my month. So if I add this number to my this number, I should get the I should get this number actually. So I, let us see one nine five zero zero five five and boom. Here you go. Two two three zero seven three one two two three zero seven three one. So that's what when you say parallel period, you are going in parallel for sure. You're going to the last time you get the aggregate for the whole year itself. But when you say date add. If you are going till November this year, you go till November last year and then you aggregate. So that's a major difference between the two calculations, two DEX expression. And that's why the answer will be false. And I hope that you liked it. Hope that it did make sense. Do like, share, subscribe so that you don't miss another video till I make my next video. This is goodbye from Ritesh. If you are a fan of the data, you should know how to have fun with data. Bye-bye.